My name's Todd Gooch. My book is uh, How to Draw Molecules Using Gooch Structures Compilation Artwork B. And I'd like to draw a couple uh, couple functional groups for you today. First thing I'd like to do is draw the Lewis structure for an aldehyde. It's drawn this way using your standard model Lewis structures. Using vector bonding and gravitational unit theory, unified field theory, an aldehyde is drawn this way. Notice, um, notice the flow of the electrons through the molecule. Uh, it's just far more detail that goes into uh, to this structure. Now, alternately, uh, we could make this into a ketone uh, very easily. This way. Notice how all of the uh, the bonding sites on the carbons are shown uh, instead of just the little areas where the uh, where in the electron dot diagrams would just be dots. Uh, you really get to see the flow through the molecule using these structures. <clears throat> uh, basically any functional group that you can draw with Lewis structures you can draw with uh, <clears throat> with these these structures, my Gooch structures. Uh, there's an alcohol uh, drawn in Lewis structures. Uh, notice there's just hardly any detail in this at all. Uh, the same bonds that they're using for hydrogen oxygen they're using for carbon oxygen uh, and um, as far as I'm concerned they're really not modeling hydrogen very well at all uh, <coughs> the vector bonding uh, representation for for an alcohol is drawn this way such. Um, <clears throat> this extends over into ionic relationships of molecules like this, or functional groups off of molecules, uh, alkanes and that type of thing. Keyhole to the oxygen is where the charge is located in these ionic forms. Uh, so instead of a charge being localized over a whole ion, uh, it's not only specific to an atom, but it's specific directly to a, a, a site on that atom. Making these structures far better than Lewis structures <clears throat> for modeling ions. I'd like to talk a little bit about the uh, hydronium ion. We draw the water this way. As opposed to the, uh, the Lewis structure for water which just looks like this. <clears throat> when the, 
when they attempt to show hydrogen bonding in water, they use little dots. Uh, to an oxygen of an adjacent water atom. Uh, these dots are not are not consistent use of, of any kind of symbolism in any kind of Lewis structures. Uh, they're not a single, double, or triple bond, not in the arcane of Lewis. Um, <clears throat> over here, make sure you can see this. Over here, again, we can um, we can represent hydrogen bonding in water for the first time ever without having to uh, without having to use little dots. We use all consistent symbolism, all of the uh, all the you know the same use of the arrows every time. and shows that this is a, a macromolecule uh, that's occurring with an ionic bond right here. <clears throat> and it's usually denoted with a negative over here and a positive over here. So, so my, convention, my convention is slightly reversed in this case, but um, uh, I do it this way so that I can represent the hydronium ion properly. <clears throat> With a positive charge out here. Again, the charge on the hydronium ion is not localized over the entire ion and is not just specific to the hydrogen atom, but to a site on that hydrogen atom. The net charge in the molecule is positive one, where your representation for the hydronium ion over here, which is sometimes written this way, not like this, it's, it, it really doesn't have a very a very excellent representation. Uh, they, they lack. There's a lacking in 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 the uh, in the actual nomenclature here to uh, to represent the molecule properly. Uh, <clears throat> and again, and it's the charge is not localized all the way over the ion as it as it's usually drawn here. As very specific. To a spot right on, <clears throat> right on an atom within the molecule. Um, my book's How to Draw Molecules Using Gooch Structures Compilation Artwork B. My name's Todd Gooch, and uh, I'm trying to bring some revenue in in order to uh, to continue working on my theory, gravitational unit theory. Uh, my books can be found at gravitationalunittheory.com and I thank you very much for your time.